Hi, how you doing? Welcome back to another video on my channel. Another day, another video. In this one, I'm going to be making some predictions, probably terrible predictions, for the upcoming 23-24 season. Before I do that, please do subscribe to my channel if you're new. Subscribers are going up every day, which is great. We're nearly at 180,000. Let's get to 200,000 as soon as possible. Um, drop a like on the video. Comment below with your thoughts on my predictions. Maybe list your predictions. Let me know. Loving getting into the comments in the last few days. And join my Patreon to support the channel going forward for a couple of quid each month. You can get access to my discord club um, and get mentioned in every video just like my patrons currently are right down there right now and i love them loads right let's get into it uh here are some terrible predictions uh let's see how we get on we'll come back and revisit this video in uh 10 or 11 months time and see how little i know about football let's start with the premier league the big one come on let's go let's go big winner of the premier league it's gonna be 2023 24 Man City. I did that in a previous video, didn't I? Listing it. I can't get past it. I think Man City will be the team to beat again this year. I think, I think a couple of teams will, will push them close, like Arsenal. But I think Man City are going to win the Premier League this year. Moving on to the FA Cup. Who's going to win the FA Cup this season? I've had a think about this, and I think it's going to be Newcastle United. Now, my theory behind this is they've making some smart signings. Tonoli looks like a very good signing indeed. Um, you know, I think they'll build on last season. I think they'll go out the Champions League early. Sorry, Newcastle fans. But I think that means they'll be able to concentrate on the FA Cup um, after, after the new year. So, yeah, my prediction is Newcastle to win the FA Cup. Let's move on to the League Cup, the one that no one cares about. Um, who's going to win that? I've gone a bit boring in my prediction here. I've gone with Man City, who have won it a lot in recent years. Because unfortunately now, big teams do seem to take these cups seriously and uh, do seem to play strong, strong sides. The League Cup hasn't had an interesting final for a couple of years now. It's normally the big clubs. I think City will get there again. I think they'll win it again. Sorry, guys. I know it's a boring prediction, but it is what it is. Let's move on to the Champions League. Who's going to win the Champions League? That's the big one. City won it last year, of course. Um, that was the one they really wanted. Are they going to retain the title? Who's going to win it? I think this year the winner is going to be Real Madrid. Now, I know that's, again, quite a boring prediction, but they brought in players like Jude Bellingham this summer. I think he's going to make a huge difference. We know they've got pedigree in this competition, uh, and I think they'll be really, really gunning to try and uh, to wrestle it back from City. So, yeah, I know it's a boring prediction, but I'm sorry. I think Real Madrid are going to win the Champions League again. The Europa League, who's going to win that? Much more interesting one, this one. A couple of English teams in there, will they do well? I think they might do okay, but I think the winner is going to be Roma. That is my prediction. Jose's Roma, assuming he's still there. Um, I think they will win the Europa League this year. Not really much reason behind that, apart from just a vibe, just a feeling in here. Um, and we know that Jose still got that hunger and that fight. So, yeah, that's my prediction for Europa League. Roma to win. Let's move on to the Europa Conference League. That thing we'd all forgotten about until West Ham won it last year. Um, who's going to win it this year? I've been looking at the teams that have gone through so far, still in the qualifying phase. And my prediction is another English team. I'm going to go for Aston Villa to win the Europa Conference League. Two English winners in a row. The reason is Unai Emery. We know he loves a European competition. Europa League is the one that he's normally uh, been good at. But uh, I fancy him to bring that, uh, bring that um, European competition nous to Villa. Um, I think they've got a strong squad. Um, yeah, I see them going all the way. There we go. That's my first bold prediction of the video. Villa to win the Europa Conference League. Let's move on to the Women's World Cup, which kicked off yesterday. Uh, surprise result with uh, New Zealand beating uh, Norway in the first game. Um, who's going to win the Women's World Cup? Now, my prediction is the USA. Again, boring prediction. I'm sorry. If England hadn't had the injuries, they've had some key players um, like Leah Williamson and uh, Beth Mead, then um, I think they might have possibly added the World Cup to the European Championships from last year. But I think that's going to unfortunately work against them. So I'm going to have to go for the USA. So I'm going to have to go for the USA, despite there being some other good teams. Spain, I think, are going to be decent as well. Um, we know the Norwegian teams do well. Uh, France have got some good players, but... I'm going to have to go for the USA. While we're on women's football, let's go for the WSL title. Who's going to win that in this coming season? Now, my prediction is actually linked to the World Cup prediction because I'm going to go for Chelsea to win it again. Now, the reason I've gone for Chelsea, it's linked to my World Cup prediction because there's been a lot of ACL injuries um, at the Women's World Cup this year. And a lot of those England ones have been Arsenal players. Leah Williamson, Beth Mead, uh, Vivian Miedema, uh, Dutch forward, also plays for Arsenal. Um, I think they are going to struggle as a result, which I think means Chelsea, who I know are very strong, um, will take the title. Let's move into Europe. Uh, La Liga, who's going to win the Liga? Um, there's only about one of three, isn't there, to choose from. Uh, and I'm going to go for... 
Real Madrid. Keeping it consistent with my Champions League prediction. Uh, let's go for Real Madrid, I think, to win La Liga and add it to the Champions League. Bundesliga. Who's going to win that? Again, it's sort of one of one from two, really, isn't it? Um, so, for a laugh, I'm going to go for Dortmund. Why not? I think they sort of threw it away this year, Dortmund, didn't they? But, um, yeah, let's go for Dortmund to win Bundesliga. Again, just based on vibes. Serie A. Who's going to win that? I'd love to say Napoli to retain that, um, just for the romance. But uh, I'm going to go for Inter Milan. Uh, who were my team back in the day. Uh, I'm going to go for Inter, who I know finished, was it third or fourth, I think, in the table. I'm going to go for Inter to win the Serie A this season. Liga, PSG. Don't need to say any more. And the Championship. Finally, let's end on the Championship, the hardest league to predict. So big teams have come down. There's some big teams already in there. Who's going to win it? I'm going to go for... Leeds United. They've appointed a great manager who knows how to get out of that division in Daniel Farker. I think they're going to win the title and bounce straight back up the season into the Premier League. Well, there you go. Those are my predictions for uh, this coming season. Let me know if you think I'm right, I'm wrong, I'm wide of the mark. Maybe I've got a few right. Who knows? And uh, comment with your predictions below and we'll return to this video in a year's time and see how we got on. Uh, subscribe if you're new here. Click that uh, bell button so you get uh, notifications every time I do a new video. Like the video, comment below and join my Patreon to support the channel going forward. And that's it. I'll be back next week. Have a great weekend and uh, see you again soon.